Defoliating auto flowers. High risk, high reward. Let's talk about it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Basement Auto Flowers. My name is Grower Joe. If you're just getting here, I'd like to welcome you to the community. Do me a favor, watch the whole video to the end, subscribe, and comment down below. Do you use defoliation? What other kind of methods do you use to increase yields when it comes to auto flowers? On this week's episode, we're covering defoliation. High risk, high reward. Personally over here at Basement Auto Flowers, we defoliate every single one of our flowers unless they are stressed out going into the flower stage. Defoliation, simply put, is trimming away your excess foliage or your excess fan leaves to allow better light penetration to those bottom bud sites and allow more airflow around your plant. When it comes to defoliation, it's very controversial between growers. Some growers say it impacts your yield and some people say it adds to your yield. Over here, we have experienced that it adds to our yield as long as it's done properly and at the right time. The perfect time for defoliation for us is during the early stages of flower. We've already applied low stress training methods and topping methods, so now our plan is exactly where we want it to be before we start defoliation. One of the major reasons why I wait until flower before I start defoliation or trimming off my fan leaves is now I know exactly where my grow sites are and now I know what fan leaves to get rid of so I can get better light penetration down to those bottom nodes. Another awesome factor with defoliation is airflow. Although your humidity might be 50% in your grow room, down in some of that bottom foliage, it might be 70-80%. If you've got a big bushy cultivar, the humidity down below might be different than the top. So airflow is a major factor here. Let's get into some tools you're going to need to start defoliation and show you the techniques that we use over here in our garden. There's only two simple tools that we use. Number one, your hands with some rubber gloves. Put on your rubber gloves to make sure that your hands are clean. Some people don't wash their hands. Wash your hands, get them clean, and grab a pair of scissors. Scissors are the next tool you're gonna use. Now you can clip these off with your fingers and pinch them and pull them, but I recommend using scissors because it's gonna be a nice clean cut and less chance for infecting your plant or putting dirt on your stems. Now that we got our tools, let's get right into the garden and show you exactly how we do it. Now that our plant has been low stress trained at top, this is what it looks like. All we wanna do now is trim off some of these excess big fan leaves that are covering the lower grow sites. What I recommend doing is taking a little bit here or there. You don't wanna trim it right down and give the girl a buzz cut, just give it a nice trim and lower the ears so it looks nice and pretty to go to prom. While defoliation is super controversial, some growers say that the plant puts more energy to the bud sites when you allow better light penetration and airflow. And that's one of the major reasons why I use it over here in my garden. One of the other major tips is never defoliate a plant that is already stressed out. If your plant already have problems, whether it be light problems, humidity problems, nutrient problems, I recommend letting that plant come back to health. Don't defoliate that one. Go on to the next one that's nice and healthy during the flower stage so you can really kind of find out if defoliation is gonna work for you. As you can see here guys, all we're doing is trimming away some of those bottom nodes to allow better light penetration and make sure that all that light can get down to those bottom nugs. Some of the really bottom nugs, we just trim them right off because they're not gonna turn into anything. They're gonna be fluff and floof and maybe you might be able to make some edibles with them, but we smoke a lot over here and that's exactly why we want big and juicy nugs. While this is a super simple method, there definitely are a lot of risk. A lot of people can get in there and over defoliate and take away too much foliage and too many fan leaves. You don't wanna stretch out your plant. All you're trying to do is open up that bottom canopy and allow better light penetration and more airflow so that you can produce bigger and better yields. That's it for me guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, subscribe, comment down below, do you defoliate? And after you comment, come on over to Instagram and follow me over there where you'll have a chance to win some basement auto flowers, low stress training bags. That's it for me guys, thanks a lot, have a great, oh shit, there's dirt in that bag, have a great week. <laughs> dirt in the damn bag. <laughs> oh my God. Glad I got that on camera for you.